Hello guys, my name is SK5269 and today we're doing some simple keying in Fusion 7 by Blackmagic Design. Fusion was recently acquired by Blackmagic from Ion and it was quite an expensive product to get. It is still expensive if you're going for the premium package but the free package is just very good for freelancers. So let's check it out. We put in our loader and import our stuff. Simple enough. It's 79 frames, so I'm going to trim this down to 79. And now you can select this one is for the monitor one, and this one is for monitor two. If you're going for a dual monitor setup. You can change how it fits, 400%, 150%, blah, blah, blah. I only need one monitor. Okay, now to open up my favorite Kia, Primat V5. And in order to attach the different nodes, you select the red one, you just apply it. Then you select this one to be the one that's being viewed because you know you want to see it. The thing that I love about Primat is that it's so easy to use. First thing you can do is just auto compute. It does this for you, and it looks pretty good. But there's some things that are not completely right. So let's view the alpha, shall we? Okay. It looks for the most part okay. All we need to do is fix some of the ickiness. Like for instance, in the original image, let me show you. She, uh, it's not as purple as it is here, so we can just clean foreground noise, which helps that a bit. And you can use the spill sponge a bit over here. Oh, don't want that. So will you save that for another time? But otherwise, this is actually this is actually a very easy thing to key. So there's multiple different algorithms you can choose. The default ones really usually just the best. It's hybrid blurring, which actually just helps with the thickness a bit. And I found that I actually like it. You can adjust the lighting to your liking. You know. Just mess around with it. See how I don't need to do that just now. There's some fine tuning in terms of the spill and all that. But I usually tend to leave these alone. The grain is pretty useful though. The next thing you'd want to go for would be a Mac control. Which will be what will be helping our spill, okay, switch to number one, and then we come to spill, green, then we just raise the spill suppression, till we get something that we like, and then maybe medium, well done, and it looks pretty good, if I say so myself. And you can mess around with the fringes and change the gamma, all that good stuff, you know. If you have a more difficult key than the one I have. And you can always reset everything by pressing these buttons. Nice thing to know. Now, what I'd like to do from here is resize this. Now, just use resize, the tool the transform tab. Resize. I haven't been using this for a while, so yeah, I'd already set this to that. Now I'm going to bring in a background. I just want a simple background. Let me just check. 720, good. 
going to pick a, just a random color, maybe a brightish blue for my background. Or I could make it gradiated, you know, make it stylish or something. I don't know. <laughs> There's some weird colors at like that. What? Oh. Yeah, freakiness all around. That's our background people. And in order to merge them, the simplest way is to take the one you want on top and pick whip it to the one you want at the bottom. Then select your merge. Simple as that. And you now have your key. As you can see, it seems a bit harsh at the edges in some points. So you can always come back to your matte control. Go to your mat. Maybe apply a matte blur just a bit. You know, help blend it, up, blend it a bit. Or you could always just use your matte controls within Primat itself. It's also very good. And you can shut your mask. Uh, I wouldn't recommend that. That's just horrible. Anyway, noise. Okay, that's way too much. I don't need that. This thing's got so many, many, many tools. Just on a side note, there are a lot of other keys you could use, which are here in the mat tab. There's the chroma key, the luma key, the alpha key, the ultra key, the difference key. Now, I really like the difference key. What it does is, if you have a clean plate, which is basically just a picture or video of the background without your actor, then you bring your actor in, you could use that clean plate as a reference to key that thing out without actually needing a green screen, which is very cool. I haven't actually tried it myself yet, but as soon as I do, I'll post a video if you guys like it. Anyway, that was me, SK5269, and well, this goes to show you, keying is very easy and fusion is even easier. Thank you.